My name is Tony Silva and today I want to discuss about inducing nesting in conures. Conures are New World parakeets and these golden conures are representative of what conures entail. They have a long pointed tail, they tend to be smaller than the large macaws, although some of the large conures are larger than some of the smaller macaws. Conures tend to be fairly prolific and many species are very easy to breed. For the common species, sun conures, green cheeks, maroon bellies, gen dates, and many of the most prevalent species in aviculture, it is very easy to induce nesting. And what we do is we need to take the birds first out of breeding condition and then bring them into breeding condition. How do we take them out of breeding condition? So we're gonna take a parakeet seed mix or a finch seed mix. We're going to add a little bit of pellet and a little bit of seeds. This will be their diet for a period of six to eight weeks. Now we want to induce them to breed when light and temperature and humidity are correct. We can't expect them to come into breeding condition in the deep of winter when there's only six hours of daylight. If they're indoors, it's much easier because you can increase the daylight period. So what we want to do is we want to feed them this diet and this diet alone for six to eight weeks. We want to make sure that they come totally out of condition. At the end of six or eight weeks, we switch over completely to what I call an enriched and wet diet. What does that enriched diet and wet diet contain? First. We want to focus on vegetables, steamed sweet potato, squash, broccoli, beets, carrots. We want to make sure that this represents about 30 to 40% of the diet. We want to avoid fruits because parrots have not really evolved to handle the sugar in fruits. We want to focus on vegetables which are far more nutritious. Now, there is a tendency in aviculture to chop, to grind up everything into a mush. Parrots have feet that they use to grasp food with. They don't like mush. They like to be able to hold food in their paws. So we want to cut it in small cubes, say uh, 10 millimeters square, 8 millimeters square, or about a third of an inch square, so they can hold on to it and eat it. That way we're inducing them to feed. We also want to give them the vegetables warm so that they, they, they feed, they want to gorge on it. And then we're going to add extra calcium during the breeding season to the wet diet, even if we feed pellets. And then the other component, the other 60% will be pellets. And why do I recommend pellets? Pellets are an enriched diet. They contain all of the vitamins, minerals, and elements that they need. They provide what the birds will require to nest. If we do a dramatic overnight change in diet and we keep them on a wet and enriched diet for a period of six to eight weeks, they should go to nest very quickly. That's all for today.